Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome my lovelies to another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. I do not think my microphone likes the echo in this room and I don't really know how to defeat the echo. I'm going to be putting up some soundproofing soon. Is it called soundproofing? I don't know, those things that are like uh, and foam. You're a mess, woman. How are you all doing? It's been a while since I've sat down and I have filmed because I usually pre-film quite a lot and I feel like I haven't done any filming for ages for some reason. So, my lovelies, in the last episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls, um, there was some interesting topics, shall we say. <sighs> And I mean, where do I even go from there? Except we need to watch episode five today. So the top comment on the last video is by Itri Vega. And they say, as a mixed person who is slightly lighter in tone compared to Tyra and who admires Grace Jones, I would feel deeply uncomfortable if someone wanted to darken my skin tone to make me look like her. Why not embody her expressiveness instead? Her way of playing with gender expression, her cool hairstyles and her tendency for sharp angles. I completely agree. Completely agree. I don't think that it was necessary at all. Grace Grace Jones is such an iconic artist that they could have gone with multiple different angles and takes on her looks and her expression, but for some reason settled on what we got in the end, which was just uncomfortable to watch. Without further ado, shall we see if today is just as uncomfortable to watch, shall we? I'm also testing out a new way of doing my foundation today, and I don't know if I like it just yet. We shall see throughout the course of the video. I've got no interest in talking to you. <laughs> Homest the scandal. Previously on America's Next Top Model. Previously on America's Next Top Loveliest Slap Sap. I'm gonna do anything to change my life. What are you doing? Don't a little bit slatty. While Camille She's a little bit country. She's a little bit slat. Disobeyed her father's wishes. He considered modeling prostitution. Mercedes kept her illness a secret from everyone. I and hate in the last this. elimination, Janasha was sent home. Why was that said in such a way that was like, she kept her illness as a secret from everyone? That's kind of trivializing this woman's... I'm gonna use the word struggle here. She might have had a little bit of an adjustment struggle to being diagnosed with lupus. I think in the last episode, she even said that she'd only recently been diagnosed with it. So it's like, why are they ooh, going down that route? It feels very unsavory on the producer's behalf, don't you think? Yeah, it's quite that. Eight girls remain. Eight. Who will be eliminated tonight? Who will go to the guillotine? I know you like that. Da, 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 da. America's next top loveliest act. Da, 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 da. I love the little cowbell. Uh, 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 Mercedes! Uh, uh, uh. I'm very cut today, I've noticed. I've noticed for some reason recently I've loved saying the word cut constantly in my videos and it's very upsetting because YouTube does not like the word cunt. If you say the word cunt, you get instantly demonetized. So for a lot of the time that I am going to be saying cunt, you're going to be hearing swan honks and I do hope that that's okay. But there we go. Cunt. America's next top loveliest woman on the model game. Oh, the moon went right into that woman's apartment. The past eliminations, I'm feeling really... Katie is a dom top. Good heavens. Relieved. I'm feeling disappointed that I let myself slip down. I the hate Katie's hair. I hate her hair so much. She styles it so much older than she is. She is 18 years old here, and she styles her hair like a Karen in her 40s going, Oh my god, I want to speak to the manager. There's oat milk in my soya. <laughs> I just realized that I really need to up my game. Up I mean, they the can garment. choose like a million blonde hair, blue eyed girls to walk down a runway, but black women in a show are far and few between. Okay, it's very competitive. It's like that one token girl. Okay, but come on, what percentage of magazine covers do you see an Asian on? It's rougher being an Asian than a black woman. Tyra wow. told me right up front the fashion industry is all about race. Really? So you see Asian girls on the covers of magazines, and I'm not talking about Lucy Liu, she's an actress. So with you entering this fashion world, you would be the underdog. Before I decided to enter into this industry, I never really thought about my ethnicity. Just 
interesting that they're having this conversation now. This kind of does bode for the episode though, because we're only one minute and 44 seconds in and they're having this conversation. I don't feel like I'm equipped enough to talk about these sorts of problems on my Chanel, but throughout these commentary and reaction videos, I do kind of want to draw attention to the fact that these conversations were happening and these things were happening. And I guess that most of the discourse will happen in the comments. So if you see something, say something, my loves. Says there's less slots for you in any runway show, editorial, fashion magazine than any single other race you can even think of right now. I'm half Japanese and I'm half Caucasian, oh. but I've never done anything that made me associate myself as an Asian. I don't know how much April lives out her Japanese culture in her life, but her Japanese heritage might be that one thing that's going to give her the edge. <laughs> That is a very unusual way of having that edited. She, Camille mentioned then that she thinks that April's Japanese heritage might be the thing that gives her the edge. I don't know, there's an editing choice there that doesn't make me feel comfortable. Shall I leave it at that? Is there anything? <gasps> oh, what lesbian. It's from Iran, mosques. Oh, oops. I'm so offensive. proud of my Persian culture, but my Iranian family, my father, who's Muslim, a model, is a whore. Oh, I should do something. I'm not sure if I can also weigh in on this conversation. I personally don't equate the modeling industry to being a whore or selling your body or anything. I mean, we all technically sell our bodies for our job. No matter what that job is, you are selling your time and your body being present and doing that job. I will, however, say that America's Next Top Model does have a, a tendency to make their models disrobe for competitive purposes. Like in the last season, all we saw was bikini shoots and naked diamond shoots pretty much the whole way through. So I can kind of understand the equation there, but although like taking your clothes off in front of a camera isn't always necessarily linked to adult work, shall we say, the adult industry, I do however see the crossover and see the worry because like on paper, if you were to write down a naked photo shoot as like a step-by-step -step, and also something in the adult industry as a step-by-step, -step, they wouldn't be that much different, would they? Oh no! I've oh, cracked the code, oh, girl. girl! She's got a degree. I was diagnosed with lupus, which is a chronic illness that attacks your immune system about a year ago. Right. And I don't want my roommates to know. See, about a year ago. Everything. I take pills under the counter and like hurry up and drink some water. I don't want to be judged. I just want to be as normal as everybody else. Oh, and now she's dancing. Happy lady. What an interesting editing choice that was. Very interesting. Why? They're kind of a... Ugh. I don't get what that point of that section was. I mean, I understand the idea of sharing your, I'm gonna use the word struggle here because it sounds like she's having a struggle, integrating her illness into this competition without other people finding out. But I don't know, it feels, it feels like they're trying to paint it out as you're doing really well, the same as everybody else, even though you're struggling behind the scenes, which is not something necessarily to celebrate, I don't think, because it's like, we're not gonna give you any extra help, but we will expect the same level of work from you as everybody else. And I feel like that is where the problem is and that's kind of how this is coming across to me let me know what you think about that in the comments box below because i kind of feel like that's how it's going i might be wrong let me know Ooh. oh i like this hairstyle on tyra yes that red is a gorgeous color as well oh leaping lesbian oh beat 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 tyra beat Oh my gosh, come over here. Woman. Okay. Yeah, we need to get you guys some double dutch. Yeah. For goodness sake, I don't know what it is about these old shows, but the audio and their like microphones are so terribly balanced. Like I'm really struggling to listen to what she's saying. She has to, surely has to be wearing a, like a Lavelle, a Lavellier. I don't know if they're actually called this. A lav mic girls here because Although maybe she's not, and that's why I can just literally hear like nothing. I'm like struggling to hear their voices. I don't know why all of these old 2000 shows, everything that I have watched, everything that me and Roly have reacted to, everything that I've personally reacted to here on this Chanel Girls, the audio is always terrible. Why? Why was it? I don't even remember it being this bad. Are you taking the pace? Okay. 
So, I'm really proud of you all. You guys are really strong. From now on, it's going to be really difficult with the eliminations. And I can tell after judging how heavy the whole experience of this competition yes. is. Really and you made really it off. heavy on purpose. So, I wanted to do a one on one with everybody. <laughs> so, let's start with CMR. Come along, let me see your trauma one on one so we can sell it for views, Gail. Let me help you. Uh, what's up? Is she making to tell me that I should I be do here? actually. Let's talk. I love your toughness. And I feel like you're trying to do this feminine thing that's not natural for you. I will be tough. I just feel like that is what makes you special. I still need to find my comfort zone with still being me, but not looking like plain Jane. How are you handling the stress and pressure? Better, a lot better. My stress level is not intense. I mean, I do kind of miss my mom. My mom and I are like this. That's like my mom. Yeah. yeah. My mom quit her job and came with me to Paris oh. when I was 18. And wow. she's the reason why I'm standing in front of you right here today. My mom is my rock. <laughs> okay, oh. this is the first time in my whole entire life I have ever been called a diva. I see Camille and I see the diva attitude. I do kind of um, struggle to believe a little bit that no one has ever playfully called Camille a diva. However, they're definitely giving her this very specific edit here. They told Shiamara there that she needs to be more tough and less feminine because it seems fake. And I wonder what they're going to tell Camille. I wonder what they're going to tell Camille. No points for guessing. There's a certain level of humility, modesty that you have yeah. to have. It's not about proving to the world how yeah. great that you can be okay. with this thing on your chest. Like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. It's a quiet confidence. I believe my calling in life is to be... I mean, yes, I agree with that. But also, we didn't hear any of Camille's responses. We heard one sentence from her there. So they're really trying to... Maybe she said this wonderful thing back. Maybe she was like, Tyler, I hate you, bitch. But we didn't get any of that. So... That was an interesting conversation there. We're only being shown one side of Camille. And I very much think that she's getting the rough end of the stick, if you like. The rough end of the editing stick here. I'm not saying that, you know, she doesn't say these things and she's a perfect woman. But I'm also saying that they are painting her as a villain for a reason. A source of inspiration and strength to other people because that's when I feel so good. I love that you see yourself in that way. Let's Especially as a woman of color, you know. I haven't been connected with my Japanese heritage. I'm not going to pretend I have. So I'm not trying to market myself to just Asian girls. And just, I want to ask your opinion. I wonder what the question was that the producer asked her then regarding that response. Like, why would she suddenly say that? I don't want to just market myself to Asian girls because I don't have a link to my Japanese heritage. What did the producer there ask her to prompt that response? Oh, I would love to know, girls. What I should do with my dad, because he's leaving messages on my cell phone right now and calling my mom. Does Wait. he know where you are? No, he, no, he doesn't. <sighs> Would it help you in any way? Would it give you strength to talk to him? To talk to him just like... Whether it's a curse out or a... Um, it, it, it will be over if I talk to him right now. It might be something that you have to deal with. Maybe in your photo shoots you are thinking about him and there's an anger, but there's maybe a sadness because that's what I see in your eyes when you do photo shoots. It's a sadness. Really? Mm -hmm. So we're going to show this slow motion part where she's blinking to be like... Oh, look, she's so sad. Oh, very sad. Magic of television girls, they'll make you feel anything they want to. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was talking to CMR, like, seriously, I think I've grown more in, like, the past couple weeks than I've grown, like, in the past couple years. And if I go back home to, like, my life, oh. I don't want you to go back to your life what before a horrible home. There's hat. always Walgreens. Yeah, everyone's like, you know, no more Walgreens for Shandy. Yeah. I don't look at that as, as your past and look at this yeah, whole this experience is... as, as being your future. Okay. Well, well, one thing I wanted to talk about with you is on the last photo shoot, I felt like you had like an attitude with people. Really? Like, you know, um, um, so that's that, just... That shoot, uh, that day, I wasn't feeling well. You thought I was giving you attitude? Not me, just okay. in general. Yeah. Having lupus, I don't feel well and I'm trying to hide it and I'm trying to be strong. Yeah. If you get eliminated, it's not going to be because you're tired at work. Right. But if I think that you have an attitude and that you don't work well with others, I'm going to be like, I don't know about that. Right. You know, so just be honest and speak up, okay? Oh, not sure I like that sentiment there because they're kind of saying like, oh, you can deal with it. Yeah, you'll get no extra help, but we expect the same level of output as everybody else. Yes, that to me is not equality. 
That to me is not inclusive. That to me is not setting a great role model example that anything can be overcome and you're not going to stand in your own way, which is what they kind of are trying to get here with Mercedes because the producers are trying to be like, and how will that affect your daily life? And she feels the need to say, it won't. Nothing's going to affect Like I can do the exact same things as everyone else. It's okay not to. We also have to accept that, that like your best is all over the place on a graph. There was a great meme I saw recently that was like, your best is here one day and your best is up here the next and the, you're not a machine. You can't just always improve. There is no such thing as exponential growth. No such thing on a finite plane of existence. I feel myself just draining down because I'm thinking negative. I, I think I'm going to die. I think my liver is going to go out. I'm having short term memory. My hair is falling out. I feel vulnerable. I feel weak. I'm hiding all these things. I'm just tired of it. So we wake up. Wow. Clearly Mercedes feels incredibly stressed by this situation. And it is not fair that because she has an illness, she also has to go undergo extra stress, basically, but also expected to have the same output of results. Hmm, I don't like that. And we go to like Lower East Side to meet this the gentleman Lower by East the name of Sam Christensen and learn about our personality. Come on, Sam. We're working to get these girls familiar with- Oh no, is this a Scientologist personality test? No, thank you. What it is about themselves that other- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A personality coach. My God, there's room for everybody. Let's just say that. So they can talk about themselves comfortably when they're in interview situations. What I'm going to introduce to you is the magic of charisma. How you can draw to you the kind of attention that makes you stand out, that makes people listen, that makes people notice, and that's pretty essential to a model. You know, modeling is a package deal. You gotta learn how to walk a runway and portray yourself in a certain light. Um, you have to learn how to walk. You have to learn how to talk. You have to learn how to take an eye time. Uh what we're gonna do is gather some information about how Ooh. everybody else perceives GDPR. us. GDPR. We are handed sheets of paper and we have to mark off adjectives that describe each one of the girls and he's gonna hand them back to the girls and they get to see what we said about them. Right, okay. So get to see what people think of me really in the house. Adventurous. This surely, this surely is purely to make Camille look worse. Like Camille's gonna be like, confident, lovely, very good looking and everyone else is going to be like horrible, hateful, argumentative, disgusting. I bet that is a level of drama we're going to get. So maybe we should wait like 20 seconds. Maybe I should wait 20 seconds and see if that's the case. Shall I? A uh, headstrong, stylish, sophisticated, quirky, fragile, secretive, emotional, responsible, intelligent, sophisticated, kind, exotic, superior, relentless. Exotic is not a personality trait? Headstrong, defiant, outspoken, cunning, aggressive, opinionated, demanding, See? and single-minded. Anybody See? surprised? Who feels attacked? <laughs> okay. Camille was not happy with her results. She was like sucking her lips and rolling her eyes. Charisma is about the... Yes, but she could have been doing that at any other moment. We haven't seen her take a little sip of water. No wonder why she might be rolling her eyes. If I go like this, of course I'm going to roll my eyes. The willingness to deal with people's judgments, opinions, and critiques. People can say what they want to say. They could feel the way they want to feel. Honestly, like, I couldn't really care less. My objective is to win. This one's a little bit exactly. more serious. We're going to do a series of exercises in which each of you is going to get up and tell a little story to let people see your individuality. Who there once was a lovely woman who fell off a boat. <laughs> That's my story. You are. The first Titanic. exercise goes like this. There's someone in the world I love, and the reason that I love them is... Massive <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say that. That is not going on the internet. <laughs> You're a mess, woman. Come on up. 
Okay, the person who I love most is my mother because Aww. I've been through so much with her and she lets me be me. She lets me bounce off the walls and break dishes and she still loves me for who I am and she just makes me feel good inside. I've okay, never lived nice. on my own before and it's hard because I haven't been feeling well and you know, usually my mom takes care of me. Um, I've gone through. See, she clearly needs a little bit of like extra help there. And this competition setting has done nothing to do that. My life being, you know, the black sheep of the family and not having anyone oh. to talk to or explain my feelings to. And the one person that oh, I love in my life is um, my boyfriend, Eric. And it's oh. because he actually understands me more than anyone. Oh. I consider Shandy my friend and I feel bad because she's going through a lot right now. Thank you very much. Is the she? worst thing I have ever- Is she going through a lot? Oh, look at this shot of Camille. They've shot her like this so that she's like, death, death. Uh, the worst thing I've ever done is probably not be honest with my father my entire life just for the fact that he doesn't approve a lot of things that I do, but my mother- That's not the worst thing you've ever done. That is your father not providing a space in which you can go to him and talk about your concerns, your wants and your needs for your own personal life. That is not your fault, sis. That is the fault of the environment and some part of your father. Always remember that being a strict parent does not create better well-behaved children. It makes them much better at lying and deceiving. Mother supporting me 100% and I love her so much. My heart aches for Sarah because her father will disown her when he finds out she's doing this. Sarah had to deal with Jesus. some negativity but unconditional love, yeah, you unconditionally love your children. If you disown your child for anything, that is not unconditional love. That is conditional love. I will only love you for as long as you do as I say. Is that a loving relationship? No. Association with her heritage. I haven't. <laughs> oh. That must be so stressful. That is where charisma comes from. It comes from public self-acceptance. The models that succeed do so not because of how they look. They do it because they let people see their individuality. Oh, I don't know about that. It's also about how they look. It's it, the, the whole idea that the modeling world is in some way not about the way you look is wild. It's like this whole show is like, it's not only about the way you look, it's about lots of other things. It is about the way you look. The modeling industry is about the way you look. It really is. Longevity might be about your personality and you're willing to work with other people, but fundamentally it is about the way you look. This is a beauty led industry. And I'm tired of people not accepting that. Uh, <laughs> it was a good way to get to know what everybody really thinks, but it's very difficult for me to come out and share what I'm feeling. Right. Oh. We didn't see Camille get up and share anything. They cut her fully out then. I wonder if maybe she'd said something then that was quite personal and approachable and production was like, no, we don't want to do that because it'll make her human instead of villainous. <laughs> A very, very strange editing choice there. Not sure I approve. In fact, I don't. What a horrible pillow. That is... I'm feeling bad again and I'm tired and I'm just trying to just like keep on pushing myself because when you have lupus you can't stress out and it's difficult to do in this house. So So you're not you getting know, the I'm just help. Trying to stick in there. <laughs> if this is not a lovely endearing moment because she's laughing through tears about her illness production is trying to make it out to be this is actually heartbreaking to watch because she needs extra help and she's not getting it. And she's getting a slow-mo sleeping shot and a cliffhanger. The moon, a green screen moon. My mom Did you see that? Him. They've made that, look. That's a day to night shot with a green screen moon. Daytime tweed with an evening shift moon. No. Oh, horrible My mom always thought I look like a boy. No, you don't, you were like, so is the world. She like, I would, I used to wear like my dad's um, army pants, but I like cut them and made them into shorts. What did she and, say? Like, my mom always thought that I looked like a boy. Oh. No, you don't. You were like, so is the world. She like, I would, I used to wear like my dad's um, army pants, but I like cut them and made them into shorts. What's and, wrong with like, being a little bit mass like, or a little bit fed? You're looking like you look like. Boom. My mom's not here now, so I can just do what I want. And, you know, I don't have anyone, you know, pushing me down anymore. Hello, 
Ooh, again, we've got, oh, J Alexander. Again, we've got one of those moments where it's like, ooh, there's potentially a parent being a bit of problematic there. And we just kind of glossed over it and moved on. What's Joey Gold's uh, name? Oh. Jay Alexander, Alexander is the runway diva. He teaches us how to walk. And he's coming over for dinner, and we find out that he's being a special guest. I tried to call her, but I don't know who she is. Special guest? Who is this powerful woman? Hi, how are you? Intuitive yes. advisor. Hi. What are all these people? How are, are these job intuitive advisor, personality coach? The world of the rich and famous is bonkers. Psychic intuitive works. This will be a lot of fun. Intuitive work. Psychic. And Riley, a man. psychic consultation. This will be fun. Okay. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. I don't know. Doesn't it make? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. You ain't my the devil come out or something? Half of the girls are like the devil? kind of flipping out. Do you have a gift or are you? No, I have a gift and I take it from you. Whatever you come in with, I review. Okay. Sweet. So let's go. Your date of birth? Uh, 82481. Mercedes, your body's tired, your mind isn't. Sometimes you want to do more than you physically can. So you're going to be. Is she a medium, like a clairvoyant? Is this what it is? An intuitive coach? Is that trying to give a scientific name to like clairvoyancy? My camera does not like my face today. She's like, no, I can't see you, no. Focus on me, please, thank you. Let me help you. Struggling, do you understand that? The thing is, she could have got that from production. Like she could have seen anyone or any amount of footage already filmed and been like, well, I can see what's happening. I don't know. Something is burdening you, I can see it. So yeah, I'm going yeah. to out you to every other person she's in the room. She's dead on. And she's just doing this with numbers, your birthday, and your name. Mm -mm. Camille, I'm just going to level with you. And I don't care if you punch me, but you put people off. I'm not, like, biting my nails. Like, oh, my God, nobody likes me. How did you see my father reacting to me being a model? Why? Oh, see, again, they're trying to give Camille this aggressive tough uh, edit when it's kind of unnecessary it's, it's totally unnecessary there the fact that this woman this intuitive coach could have already seen some of this footage and then decided you know that that's what they're going for or spoken to even spoken to a producer and been like we know what these people are going through say this he's gonna hate it but he's gonna secretly love it really make peace with it let it go you've come this far if you have the courage to do this believe me you have the courage to go further she read me like a book. It was really odd. April, you are she determined died. to be a top model no matter what. You will be a top model. Samara, sometimes I think it's easy to be your friend, but I don't know how long you remain friends with people. It isn't shallow. It's self-protection. But there are some very genuine people that will stay friends with you. Ugh. Gross. Okay, Shandy. Why would you say that? I don't know if you can keep your friendships. Ugh. Oh. Disgusting. There's a lot of addictive behavior in your family. Mm. See, I think what's going on with Shandy, You are not a doctor. Do, does anybody hug you? You don't get hugged? Well, I mean, here I do. Yes, you get hugged. <laughs> See, everybody loves you. So you have family. Even in the moment, you have family. That makes you very rich. A lot of isolated and lonely souls. That's okay. Shane. So we're now zooming in to be like, go on, cry. Cry for millions of people. Sell us some tickets to the America's Next Top Model tour. Shani breaks my heart because her parents treated her like the black sheep of the family. It makes me very angry at them. Oh, this is not, this is trauma porn. I'm not close with pretty much anyone in my family at all. I couldn't go give them a hug. I couldn't say, you know, I love you, I miss you. And it's just really, really hard to deal with. Oh dear. Even though Shandy's my closest friend in the house, I never knew how horrible the relationship she had with her parents and, you know, the lack of love. Well, that was glossed over very quickly. Who was this intuitive coach? Why was she brought in? Is it just so we can create more storylines? The prophecy is true. 
Okay, is so it now time for a photo shoot? Girl, you have no idea how far you can go with your look. Do you know how many people said when I told them I was trying out for this, the word token Asian to me? That actually, that's what makes you stand out. Even my mom, because obviously she's the one who's responsible for me being Asian. She thinks models are big boob blonde haired Barbie dolls. So she doesn't look at me and see a model. You know what I mean? Huh. <laughs> This afternoon, surprise guest going to interview you one by one, and you're going to do your best to use what we talked about yesterday. Be charismatic, be comfortable, because personality coach is this? Would this technically now come under like PR training, like how to be approachable, how to come across good in interviews, what not to just f up and say? It's because you're really flat chested. Do you know what I mean? I wonder if that's nowadays what would be called like. Uh, public relations training kind of thing. Personality coach is a very strange title to have. It's very like wishy-washy, don't really know, got that. Are there any personality coaches that watch this? Because I'm sorry if I'm offending you. As whoever does best is going to win a shopping spree. So. <gasps> a shopping, shopping spree. spree. And I'm like, where and how much? So Wait, the best person who answers this interview is going to win a shopping spree. If that's not the most easily rigged challenge, I don't know what is. Like, you could just not show the audience the bad bits of the interview and then be like, ah, oh, she won. Determination of who wins that shopping spree is based on being you, okay? okay. I'll see you. I can't imagine who it is. Are we gonna meet the press? It's gonna be Tyra with a wig on. <laughs> oh my God. I was go I was just about to say, I bet you it's Janice Dickinson. But then I went with Tyra in a wig. No, look. Seymour, hey, how you doing? You look good. They, oh, oh, they still had no budget. None at all. Uh, it's Janice Dickinson. And Janice, you know. Like, Janice Dickinson's modeling. Are you kidding me with that walk? Oh, wow. Yesterday, you were taught how to make the most out of your personality. Today, I'm going to ask you a few questions. About your gaping orifice. She yeah, pegs him, I'm that. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get to know the personality inside of you. What's the craziest place you've ever had sex? <laughs> the craziest. Um, in a broom closet in high school. Stuck in a Ferris wheel. I'm a virgin. Okay, if you could be a judge and eliminate anyone, who would it be? Oh, that's a hard question. Right now, it'd be Camille. 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 Why? Because she's a witch. You seem to be a little intimidated by me. Do I make you nervous? I love you. Like people Camille does not seem like a vicious, villainous person here. The fact that everyone chose Camille then, but she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like I'm seeing some glaring holes in production here, girls. Don't talk about holes. People may call you, you know, the bitch or whatever, but it's just in bitch. your- Bitch. in your- I didn't say bitch, but are they calling me a People bitch? People may call you that. You know, that was really offensive to me. You know, I'm a member of the PTA. So Sarah, tell me why you think you should win this competition. Ugh. To give a good image of Middle Eastern women. She is beautiful, she's exotic, she has an opinion. She does not let men walk all over her. I am exotic. woman. I am woman. That's what you want to say. Yeah. I have a little bit of a problem with the word exotic because I feel like it's rooted in like, Old white men. I feel like old white men use that word as like, oh, she's lustful. Look at her being all lustful. And it's just a woman going about her daily business. But she's really exotic and lustful, the slut. Do you know what I mean? It comes across like that. I don't like the word exotic. Sarah's got so much personality and she has so much drive. She sold me. April, I'm getting a sense you've got this negativity towards your ethnicity. I'm half white and half Asian, okay? Just because Where, I Janice? identify myself as an Asian or as a white person, that doesn't mean I'm rejecting it. April doesn't know what to call herself. Uh, Janice, I'm gonna stop you there. This is very, that conversation that some people have around, I'm gonna make an equivalence argument here. I'm not saying it's exactly the same because it really isn't, but this is the kind of thing that I'm gonna go with as an example to, to share how I feel about this. People have this attitude towards bisexual people that they're like, um, oh, so you're not straight and you're not gay, so what are you then? It's like bisexual. That is, like, bisexual is a thing. It's not, are you this one or this one or 40% this and 60% that or 2% this and 97% that. Bisexuality is its own individual thing. It's not, oh, you're a bit this, you're a bit that and some of that. No, it's an individual, it's a separate thing entirely that has its own 
unique set of struggles, unique set of experiences, unique set of triumphs. So I sort of see what April is saying there, but maybe she, because she was so young at this point, and of course maybe this discourse hadn't have happened, but I feel like maybe she didn't have the language to explain how maybe she really felt, but I don't feel like it's acceptable to present that as she has a problem with her ethnicity because she has a different set of experiences. Weird, weird. So that's what kind of bothers me about her. She clearly looks Asian and she should be proud of it. Is there anything that you're hiding that you She's never once said that she's not proud of the way that she looks. You're worried that would come out should you become famous? Uh, probably the drugs. And, and how did you stop or have you? I was um, arrested for um, robbery and I got on probation for two years. I just like being honest. I'm not pretending, oh yeah, I haven't done this, I haven't done drugs. It's like a part of my life that I went. Arrested for robbery. I'm not fussed about drugs. Who hasn't done drugs at this point? Arrested for robbery though. That's quite something that would make me go, what? Shandy, arrested for robbery? What? You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way through and it's like in my past the whole time i'm doing all these stupid drugs i wanted my parents to like actually show that they cared what happened to me wow and you know i wasn't getting that shanny knocked my socks off with her yeah honesty. me too sis seeing janice oh I she just knocked her socks off nothing else nothing else to say just she was arrested for robbery wow i don't know if you could have said anything to me that would have gotten that out of me on TV. These kinds of shows would not be allowed to look into your criminal history unless it was public. So you would, I would never, you'd never get that out of me. Absolutely not. I am intimidated. I'm afraid that she's gonna break me down. Oh, don't be intimidated Mercedes? by Janice. Lately I've noticed your energy has gone down a little. What happened to Mercedes? What happened to you, girl? I'm like, oh my God, should I tell her? I have Oh look, fence net tights. I love a good fence net tight. Look at that. Lovely. Tell her I have lupus and I haven't been feeling well and I've been trying to hide it. Um, I don't want to make excuses that I have an illness, but I do. Um, I have lupus. What is lupus? Tell me what it is. It's a chronic illness in which your body attacks itself. What's with the uplifting music and the smiling here? Oh, this is not a moment of like... Triumph. Chronic illness in which your body attacks itself. Does that pull away from your energy? It does. I'm trying to really... No, Janice. No, it doesn't. No, it makes me really exciting. Hard to fight through it. It's just sometimes I can't control it. I made a huge decision. I just shared a little part of me that I have never shared with anybody else. All right. Thank you so much. Come on in, girl. Even the editing choice there, where they decided to slow motion make her nod in like, yes, in slow motion, like, and the triumph has happened now. Is anyone else getting a bit sickened by this editing style of the way that they're trying to paint her lupus as something that she can just overcome and like move forward with her life and leave it in the past, as opposed to something that requires like, Ongoing management. Is anybody else getting a bit sickened by that? God, all these old shows are so hideous, really, aren't they? Come on in, girls. Today Come I on in, to girls. You. Time to die. And the coolest thing is admitting that you have flaws. And that's what makes someone interesting. You know, the fact that you can be honest. April, you've got the most beautiful Asian features. So embrace your ethnicity. Embrace the fact that you are unique. Sarah, you gain brownie points for me. Why? Because there's something about your stance on waving the flag for Persian women. I felt that you were being honest. Oh, Shandai back there. Uh, when you admitted that you had a record, you know, admitting something that bleak and dark, will work as a plus for you because will everyone it? has a past. And the winner of this competition goes to Mercedes. Oh, okay. You win because of your honesty. Right. When you shared that you have lupus, that's when you reached me. And for someone to be that straight up, to come out and, and fess that up, we can give girls and boys out there faith, hope, and understanding. Outed, outed, outed in front of everyone that she's been working really hard to not let know that intimate part of herself. Outed. If you pulled me in a room that I was in competition in and I'd shared something in confidence to you, maybe my trans identity, 
And Janice was like, oh, Luxaria here. Oh, she wins because everybody knows that she grew up as a boy. I'd be like, you fucking bitch. (laughs) That to me is quite a disgusting display of taking away someone's consent. I would never guess in a million years a Mercedes had any type of illness. That's why you win a shopping spree and you get to choose one person to go along with you. There you go. And now she's got to smile, like. Sarah? Oh my God. Right. The fact that Mercedes has lupus definitely comes as a shock to all of us. And the fact that she's working through it on her own says a lot for her. Now that everything is out in the open, I just hope they're not going to use my illness to discriminate against me. Oh, sis, I don't know how this is going to go. I won the personality contest, and Sarah right. and I are going shopping. Shopping at night. Welcome to Intermix. Oh, 2000s fashion. Nikki Hambleton Jones and Trini and Susanna Sorry, Girls. Flash Ooh. There's tons of stuff on these shelves, and it was very overwhelming to choose which item I wanted. I saw the perfect purse for you. I'm glad you spoke about you were what was coming out with having lupus. I think that's pretty courageous. I just said whatever. It's easier to just say it than to hide it. That's all. Thank you. She didn't come out about having it, though. She had that decision snatched away from her because Janice was like, I'm so glad that you are ill. Janice Dickinson's insult agency. <laughs> Fountain, dogs, and a carousel. Modeling. So sink or swim. I'm kind of curious as to what is going to come out. Sink or swim. Time for everybody to go in the wave pool. I was relieved that we weren't going to get thrust in with sharks or swimming in some sewage plant. All right, so it's a fish theme today. Oh, swimming in a sewage plant. Get a grip. Quench water. Okay, all I can think about is they still bacteria and fish use the bathroom. It's just like. Whoa. I want to introduce you to That's one of the true. top fashion photographers, George Holtz. Morning, girls. Hello, Susan you are standing girls. off to the side. Hello. George has shot our very own Miss Tyra Banks and recently Adrian Curry from America's Next Top Model. You'll oh, never lovely. meet anybody more fabulous. Oh, look at the little dog. It's got a little hat on. They think that. Meet anybody more fabulous than Nole Marin. This is your world top wardrobe stylist. No Nole Marin. Does and he become a... Many... I'm sure he becomes a judge in later seasons, doesn't he? Oh, the little dog. Ow! Ready for the day, baby. Come on. It's a bang. Oh, fashion. Oh, funny. Oh, funny. Oh, fashion. Oh, fashion moves really fast. This question Ooh. in particular is very important because Tyra told me that she couldn't see... Oh, this is an interesting look. Aspects of this look are repeated now on TikTok for that, like, sickly pink kind of, uh, I'm a sick girl <laughs> kind of aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? A lot of feeling in my eyes, and I'm praying to God they see that. This is not a challenge for A lot of feeling in the breath. eyes. And just try to stay in the Needle middle in the of the eyeball, girl. And make sure you make it look good. You know what? Just get in. Right, okay. Too many bubbles, though. We're getting a lot of bubbles. All right? Bubbles? Oubliés? Too many bubbles. You need to see that face more, right? You need to twist around so you look into the camera a little more, right? Go for it. Eyes are ten times better. That was was gorgeous. Now you're working it. Was it? You guys got competition. (laughs) Miss Sarah, she was better in the water than she was on land, honestly. (laughs) Okay. Katie! Okay, don't be a puffer fish. Nice. We're underwater models on the go. Oh my goodness, pussy. Oh, the eleguatliers. There is one thing about Joanna. She is very elegant. I notice in the way that she moves her hands and her arms. She's a little bit like me in that sort of way of everything is like an elegant fluid motion, which is quite nice. Shame her attitude's a bit naff. Watch the dress. Gorgeous. Getting dangerous in there. There's some sharks in that water. Ooh. Give me a don't be scared. Dangerous in there. There's some sharks. Gosh, the scandals just keep getting worse and worse. Sharks in that water. Give me a don't be scared. <laughs> okay, I'm Caribbean, you know, my family is from Jamaica. Let me just think about them in the ocean. Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. All right. Try and be a little more ethereal. Right now, a I'm bit getting panic. to... Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh, she does look a bit panicked, doesn't she? I don't think this is her strong suit. I was just expecting amazing. She gave me kind of this like drag queen vote. Are you nervous? How vicious? A little bit. Why? Because I usually hold my nose underwater. What you're gonna have to realize is it's more about breathing. It's more about breathing underwater so you drown. It's more about we want to watch you drown. It's more about we want to get you drowning so that you can uh, give us lots of ratings on the TV, please. Yeah, that. Expelling there, uh -huh. and then just kind of sinking in. If you, if you do a lot of moving. It's all about expelling the air and then going underwater. Also known as drowning. Around that we get too many bubbles, we can't use that frame. It's gonna be interesting to see me holding my breath without using my hands. I've tried it, and water goes all up in my nose. Yeah, it isn't browser. fun. Much slower, more graceful. Don't panic. You gotta really concentrate on keeping those eyes Your open. Eyes are okay? closed in every shot. Yeah. You gotta leave them wide open. It's gonna Ooh, sting a, a little, artist. but just get shot used in the to wild. Just being open underwater. Ooh, see Mara, absolutely gorgeous girl. But she looked like a walrus wearing chiffon. A walrus in chiffon, a daytime tweed, evening walrus chiffon. Oh my god. <laughs> doing my best. Oh, look and at I'll those focus shoes. On everyone around me and how they're doing. And just That's finish this high, race. I'm red boot. This makeup is not it, sis. Nice. Wow. <gasps> like Snatch oh, at down the pageant. Down. Pageant. Okay, ever ready, buddy. She just keeps going. Wow. You don't have Downstairs. to stay down there that long if you don't want to. It's okay. Actually, it's fine. April is like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Matrix. She was fabulous. She was fabulous. All right, we're ready. Come ready. on, Shandy. Down, Shandy. If you can rob someone, you can do this. She looks constantly. Oh, dear. Hold on a sec. From the neck up, it does not work. All right? <laughs> Shandy, she looked petrified, scared, just like a drowning chicken. She is shaking. I wonder if that's absolutely freezing. Also, a drowning chicken. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Lupus goes through remissions and flares. One day, I'll be really, really tired, and the next day, it'll be normal for two days. But um, right now, I'm feeling better. Want to go down one to see how you like it? Right. Is this going to be like, she's overcome it. Gorgeous. She is very gorgeous here though, look. I like that little water neck. She gave water couture. Yeah, that was like, that was water couture all the way. I'm proud because I proved myself. And like Gloria Gaynor says, I will survive in this competition. I don't remember Gloria. I don't remember Gloria Gaynor saying, I will survive in this competition. It's night time. Hey Mercedes Ooh. and Sarah, come here. As part of your challenge win, a special gift is arriving for you. Oh! Shut up. Are you serious? I just received a shopping spree. What else can I receive? Jewelry, diamonds, something? I don't need anything else. And all of a sudden, the elevator door Two opens women! Up. You get these two middle-aged women! <laughs> Trini and Susanna. Oh, are they mums? Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Aww. Oh. Everything I've been going through, I just let it out when I hugged her. Oh my god! No, this is just like not happening. But it is. My mom's right oh. there in New York. Oh my god. That must be so overwhelmingly Sarah and positive. Mercedes to me have such an ethnic, funky, trendy look, and here are these like blonde hair, white moms. Hi. Blonde hair, white but moms. I'm used to that because you look at my dad and you look at me, and it's like that's your daughter because he looks like our Garfunkel. Hey. Oh. Hey, my mom is here. And oh, Ty was here in the same outfit as earlier. And no, Ty was mom. almost. And she was like, "Get me ready, come, give me a hug." Oh. Tyra's mom comes over and we sit down and she um, mom. tells us about how Tyra got into the business. She graduated from high school at 17, and that September, Carolyn London. Um, I stood in the airport and cried until I was sick, <laughs> <laughs> waving at the plane taking off. By the time she left to go to Paris, she was fully knowledgeable of everything, including the negativities. Ooh. She took it as a business, not as, oh, I'm going to run over here and have some fun. And I think this, though, is a different kind of time now. Like, to be a public figure now, whether that's in, I don't know what, now, to be a public figure now, 
um, whether that's a model or an actress or anything just starting out in the industry, you are so much more connected to your audience and your target market now than ever before. And even your non-target market. So if you have an Instagram, if you have a public Facebook, if you have a TikTok or an, uh, anything really, you can see people's public perception of you instantly. Whereas back in this day and age, and probably back when Tyra started modeling, there was a disconnect between your work, you, and like how the public reacts to you because you weren't getting it to your personal device in your hands. Dow a hourly minute every minute comment 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 whether that's good or bad so the industry now has completely shifted in the era of social media thank you for coming to my TED talk she's got a degree become famous and she doesn't get involved with drugs or partying or the wrong men you travel the world and you're in hotel rooms alone you travel to the next country, you're in an airplane, lots of people around you, but basically alone. That's, that's how a lot of girls get in trouble. What but you that's have also to do exactly is how it happens. Keep a strong connection to the people who will be there, whether you win or whether you lose. I hope you all see your Solid career more than just being cute in magazines. Young girls today have such low self-esteem, so I started a camera called T-Zone. Y'all, when I was a kid, I was super skinny and so insecure, so I really identify with my girls. Every night, we talk about things like relationships and sex and beauty and body image. So as a top model, you guys really can influence and inspire. Now, it's also important to look at your modeling career as a business. This industry only allows for one person. I mean, that sounds like a great cause to really instill in young girls, especially, that your self-esteem is something that you can grow over time and it's solely you. But the fact that this was just kind of like slipped in here and it's on America's Next Top Model and we're also, we're expecting someone who's on this show with Lupus to perform exactly the same as everyone else without that added help. We're also criticizing girls for being plus size, criticizing girls for being too thin, criticizing girls on the way they walk and hold themselves and their personalities does not feel correct. It feels completely at odds with each other. Do you know what I mean there? That, what she says and what she does are two very different ball games. Do you know what I mean? Of color in that certain category at a time. So like April, if you make it, you know, you are the top Asian girl at the moment or Camille or, you know, CMR, you guys are the top black or Latin girls. I may not look fully Middle Eastern, but I like to represent a good image for Middle Eastern women. Now I realize you can't take it personally. I'm very business minded. I understand that yes, my look is much more dominantly Asian than white. Therefore, I must market myself that way to be successful. All right, good night. Bye. I mean, that is so cute. Solid advice. My mom was here in spirit. Bye, Bye mommy. My dad's gonna secretly enjoy that I'm in the limelight now. It's hard to say with your dad. You have no control over what he thinks or says or anything, honey. Know that it's cultural. It's I don't not want my whole Persian family to hate you, though. Sarah, they love you. They're not going to hate you. They're going to be so happy for you. Don't be afraid of it. You earned this. So just get out there and be Sarah. My mom. Unfortunately, you really do have to put yourself first in the world. Like, no one on this planet is going to be confident or arrogant for you, shall we say. Is that the right thing I want to say? Oh, it's a little sheep at Inu. Is that something I want to say? I'm not sure that's exactly something I want to say. Let me rephrase that, actually. No such thing as a free lunch. So make sure you take care of yourself before anyone else. And if someone in your family just decides to hate you, I'm sorry, sis, there's not really a lot you can do about that. While you're getting on with your life, they also have to get on with theirs. And if something that you're doing is impacting somebody else so much just because you're pursuing your own happiness, that's on them, sis. That's not on you. And unfortunately, sometimes... That can't be changed. Has just increased my confidence about a million percent. Watching, you know, Mercedes and Sarah, it's like their moms know them through and through. And of course it makes me sad. It makes me think about how I'm not that way with my mom. Oh, I asked him, like, how many people, you know, have recovered from this? And he's like, nobody recovers. It's chronic. You never get rid of it. I know, but. I know. I know you don't want to hear that, but that's the reality, so. Sorry. <laughs> This is I know, it sucks, because it, you know? I know, I know it sucks. 
this might be the most difficult. Oh, this might be the most difficult episode we've watched. If I show God and my family that I can be strong, that nothing could hurt me with this disease. I want to go as far as I can, you know. Bye. Okay, we'll see. Take care. Bye -bye. Just seeing how much they've been there for each other and that they're real family and they love each other. Bye, guys. Bye. Even though we're in a competition and we're trying to beat one another, we're a family. One of us is going to go home tomorrow. It makes me sad. Interesting editing choice there. Oh, another picture of Tyra. Oh, yes. I love a halter neck black Hello, moment. Hello, everybody. Hello. Now it's time to make our fifth elimination towards determining who will be America's next top model. America's next top lovely slut. My modeling agency, I am Wait, does you want to have a mohawk there? Oh, that's fun. Models. A photo spread in Jane magazine. Jane. A cosmetics campaign with Sephora. Sephora. And we have our panel of judges here. First Just we have Miss Janice, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson she modeling. the very first super... Oh, I like her top there. That's very boobalicious, isn't it? On a separate unrelated note I've actually booked in my breast augmentation surgery so I'll be wearing things like this and you can't stop me my breast augmentation model we have Eric Nicholson Eric is the senior fashion Janet. editor at Jane magazine mm. Nigel Barker noted Nigel Bacopier and last but not least we have our special guest uh, judge Nole Marin what's the dog called water shoot. impress mini as you all know mini <laughs> So we're going to bring you in one by one for your individual evaluation. Okay, right, here we After go. After that, the judges will deliberate and will determine which one of you should be eliminated. Eliminated, This week, goes. you will be tested on your ability to act as a spokesmodel for pretend cosmetics line named ANTM Beauty. You will be evaluated on how well you present yourselves for 60 seconds. Hi, you guys. Here to promote my new beauty line, ANTM Beauty. We have 500 different combinations, so we are very versatile. So you walk into my, my beauty salon, I will hook you up and you will look like Tyra Banks. Hook you and up. And if you want to send it as a gift, we can hook you up with that as well. Time. Oh. You started off so strong, but then you got nervous, that's when you kind of fell. I have absolutely no idea how I would even begin to compete in a challenge like this. How do you, on the spot, just be like, beauty campaign, blah. I'm out. No idea. Onto the homegirl thing. All right, Sarah, you had an underwater photo shoot and here the is your thing. best okay. picture. Wow. Wow. I did biceps and everything, but it's a little too bicepy. Look at the intensity wow. in your eyes, bicep Sarah. Yeah, they look fantastic. Your Her bicep is covered. The best I've seen them. These girls want to be America's Next Top Bottles so much. <laughs> They're able to bring it underwater <laughs> to get the title, anything. Antium understands that every woman needs their own customized brand of makeup. And we also understand She's that your body robotic, is important. That's why we have tested all of our makeups to make sure that they're 100% allergy free. I'd like to see a little more warmth in your eyes. A little bit. I agree with Janice there. I wonder if they were given like a prompt card to be like, oh, mention this, mention that it's hypoallergenic, make sure that it's cruelty free, those sorts of things. Because if that is the case, I think it would be a lot easier to suddenly have to produce a moment to be like, oh, Will you buy my INTM beauty girls? When you're selling the product, I'm But you do need to be warm. Coming out. It was warm, like we're watching warm. an infomercial for the product. It sounded like you were at an auction, just da 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 Here's your best shot. Oh dear, that's not good, wow. is it? Wow. It's amazing. I love the muscle in your leg. You Snatch. look like you were just in a normal studio posing. You don't look like you're underwater. That is really that is a hard gorgeous to do photo. for professional models. We do not test on animals. I am not for the cruelty of animals. We only test on humans. Um, I would, I don't know. I, don't, uh, I felt it was very poor delivery. A little scatterbrained. It sounded as if you were selling sort of a cheap makeup. This is America's Next Top Model not America's Next Average Model. All right, wow. Oh. I think she might be what in the bottom. There? The mouth is open. You were not catching the fish. The fish were just <gasps> in the water. Your oh no, that's terrible. Closed. We needed your eyes open. Wait a second, did you see that? So she's meant to be standing at the podium of the America's Next Top Beauty, like whatever it is, ANTM Beauty Line, whatever, being judged. But look. Not catching the fish. The fish were just in the water. Your eyes were closed. We need. Look, there is someone standing very close behind her. So here she is up with the rest of the models and not at the podium by herself. So they put in this like reaction shot of her being shocked and aghast but it's actually to something completely different. And they have edited it in here for a storyline purpose of being like shocked and appalled that she's being told this by a guest judge. 
is this designed to make us not like her as much or give an understanding as to be like, oh, she's in the bottom because of her attitude or something? Producers clocked at the pageant. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Need your eyes open. Antium Beauty has created a... and... Um, the new a and Beauty line is a hip, new, super glam look that can make all women feel like a super top model. Oh. Shandy, you just didn't sell it to me. You're too quiet. I don't feel like they've confident. been told how to do this. Right, like the personality coaching did not help with this challenge. You did not work the blouse. That's a little bit gusset. You did not work your face. You did nothing but sink like the Titanic. The bottom line is, is that obviously you did get a photograph. All you need is one. No, we don't. I want to see a hundred. You know what? Maybe that's true, Nolay, but I think just what? the way you're handling it right now, this is impressing me. Because a lot of the other girls would have burst into tears with that kind of criticism. <laughs> ANTM Beauty customizes your colors. No more second guessing once you get it home or realizing, you know, I just spent $10 on this foundation and it's not my color. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that too. <laughs> you did a great job, it's just that I needed to have a little bit more force and power. I didn't Here, like that. Whoa. Wow. It's gorgeous. A little cross eye. <laughs> Body rocks. But the, po the pose is the best one out yeah, of everybody. The pose, yeah. the pose. I mean, that is quite a cool pose, I guess. Oh, it's very gusset, it's though. It's insane. Yeah. I love it. ANTN Beauty is really for everybody. It's for my mother who has white and fair skin, or it's for my father when he goes out and does his drag queen thing. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Inclusive so girls. Doesn't really wear makeup. No, no, God, it kill me. All in all, you, you, you rocked. You're engaging. You were young, fresh, and when I was watching you, you made me smile. And here's your I like that the most. Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bubbly, you bubbled out. No doubt about it. It's not a grabbing picture. I will have to defend her on this. You were a visual orgasm. I'm going to cream. ANTM Beauty is a universal. It has. It's packaging and. Oh dear! Oh dear! Shut down. Here's your best shot. Oh god! I think it's the Ooh. worst picture I've ever seen in my life. Your it hair uh, looks like a, a cockatoo there and here. I mean, it's just you know. It looks a little bit like an adult ultrasound. Your face again, though, still. An adult ultrasound. It looks a little bit like an adult ultrasound. It's gorgeous. It's always gorgeous. Oh, it's when sort it's of does, doesn't it? As you may know, um... it's very Sandra Bullock in Gravity. Was that Sandra Bullock, or was that Anne Hathaway? Anne Hathaway. I'm America's Next Top Model, and I'm here today to introduce to you our product line. Last year, um, I won the competition for America's Next Top Model, and the makeup artists that I met, they used the products on my face, and I really liked it. Ooh. We test all of our products. Your time is up. Can I say one thing, please? No. That was the time. That was the time you're giving. <laughs> Ground control to Camille. Camille, oh. for me, you were slightly arrogant. You sounded pathological, and it was like psychotic that you won last year. I felt, it made me feel uncomfortable. All right, so this is your uh, photo. But they're always, they always say to them, oh, you need to believe that you're going to win. You need to believe. You need to act like you've already got it, girls. You're going to be an international supermodel. As soon as someone does, especially Camille, they're like, mm, you're scum, actually. Dirty little scum. Get out of my face. Underwater. Beautiful. If you could be like this, in person and have that kind of eloquence. You want to win us over with your sweetness as well, not just the sort of sharpness. See, they're telling her that she's insane. Don't like okay, it, girls. Sarah, Don't like I it. Think she's really coming into her own. I feel she looks like an East German swimmer. Her eyes are a lot better. I guess my one negative with her is when she was giving the speech, she dropped it into that sort of ghetto thing. There's an art to using that. I don't think you're she's right. mastered the art. No, no, you're right. That. right. April. This is incredible for April. I a do for like the photograph, that photo. But D to F on the way she sold the makeup tonight. See, what a hideous in set of honesty, bouquet that is. Facially, she's a pretty girl, but there's lots of bouquets in this room. I think Ciamara is one of the few girls. I think it's going to be Ciamara in the bottom with Camille, I think. And I think maybe Ciamara might go. Because why would they get rid of the villain? Because she would surely bring in the ratings and the drama. 
who could be doing the couture runways and you both are blind. Eric, what is wrong with you? What not? I think that there's potential in that. The reason why she's here is her energy was so great. She just has this, you know, you know, let this me out of my New fate. York girl attitude. I love it. Shandy. Oh, Shandy. Her oh. facial expressions were absolutely mortifying, but she seemed to have potential. Mercedes, well, a beautiful girl. So Shandy's not going to be in the bottom. Charisma. Her face is really dead in the picture. She looks like she's counting down the minutes. Like, is it over yet? Is it mm. over? Um, but her personality is so endearing. Joanna. Huh. I think she looks so serene, like a baby about to be born in this photograph. Joanna looks like she has six. But the other judge was like, she looks like an adult ultrasound. So is it good or is it bad? Fingers. It looks like a lobster claw. Katie. Face is a little strange, but I think she did a great job. She could be a lot more edgy, a lot more fashion forward. I do you know, agree. She's just such a darn know-it-all. I don't think this is the place for her, this competition. I think she needs to be somewhere telling people what to do rather than taking advice. I mean, she turned me off. I mean, I'm going to vote her out tonight. Oh, I think... Oh, a mysterious manhole cover. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go, girls. Pimpst. I have eight beautiful girls Pimpst standing in front of me. the guillotine. But I only have seven pictures in my hands. Only and one of you will get gout. The seven girls who will still be in the running to become America's next top Loveliest model. slut. Sarah. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Mercedes, congratulations, yeah. April. April, this is the strongest picture of the bunch, but when you talk and how you move in your hands, so like this, it's not a likable, warm person that I really want to get to know better. And I want them to see that beautiful part of you. Ooh. You're still only running towards becoming America's next top model. Right. Joanna. Congratulations, Katie. No critique. None. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Also, no critique. Be more edgy, sis. Oh, my goodness. I was right. It might be Camille going, Shandy. actually. Shandy, you are making the most amazing transformation. But this photo was a fluke because this is the best of the worst. When there's really negative elements, you need to try to learn how to tune but all But it's still a photo. Out. So... Well, Camille and right, Silmar go. Who's it going to be, girl? Who's it going to be? have one photo in my hands and the girl in this photo will continue on the journey toward becoming america's next top model camille we have a problem with people telling you what to do and if you have a problem with that you're not going to be able to be a top model cmr the judges love your personality but on photo shoots you lose your focus and don't take direction well but nevertheless I'm all about a girl with personality. Right. Camille, congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming I knew it! Didn't I say, didn't I say, didn't I say, didn't I say, why would they get rid of the villain? Because she will give the drama. Ha! Huh. Oh, poor Camille. The poor Xiomara. At least she will not have to deal with the nonsense. I love Shandy and Yoan and all, April and everyone. Oh, I love you. I love you. Take care. I didn't want to be eliminated. Who wants to be eliminated? I don't want to go home. I learned that you can never listen to anyone but yourself. Go with you. Don't try to be something that you're not. Besides I agree. Born, and didn't they tell her earlier in the episode as well that she needs to be more tough? But then they were also telling Camille that she shouldn't be so tough. How can you win at this game? How can you win? It's fully a production game. What happened to me? Oh, into the night fades away. She's got goiter. Ken Mock girls. I've got some thoughts. Well, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about today's episode. Today might be the most difficult episode that we have seen so far. Let me pull my microphone nearer to me in case you can't hear a word that I'm saying. I feel like the storyline arc that is happening with Mercedes is difficult to watch because it feels like production is trying to come at it from a place of ignorance and make that ignorant... I don't even know how to explain this. and I'm not sure I have the right language, but it feels like... They're showing it in a way that they think will get people on her side, 
but actually it's really ignorant. It's a really ignorant editing way of being like, oh look, she's gotten over it, girls. Aren't we all proud that she's gotten over it? Instead of it actually being like an accurate representation of managing an illness whilst also trying to make a career for yourself. Do you know what I mean? That's very much the vibe I get from Mercedes's storyline. Still, the same thing is happening with Camille. We didn't see Camille's responses to any of the judges' critiques at any point in this in this episode. We just kind of had judges telling her that what she's doing is wrong. And that makes it very difficult to make an accurate assessment on how Camille is actually being presented. Like, is she actually this horrible person to live with or is the storyline push of making her this villain so intense that we are reacting in a way that's like, yeah, yeah, she's wrong. Oh, she's scum. She is. It's so difficult. And Joanna is still being horrible as far as I'm concerned. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's video because today's episode has been a, a little bit of a roller coaster, but one of those roller coasters that's like underground and you can't really see where you're going, but it all just feels horrible. <laughs> Very that. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Alice Destrange. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays. I stream every Monday and Thursday straight after my video upload. So I should be streaming tonight if you want to hop over there and join the fun. And as always, I want to say a massive thank Thank you to my top tier Patreons, Aloria, Dr. Dream Morella, Luke Peterson, Stephanie Neotupski, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min Dia, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel Deasy, Biscuit Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Stefutech, Travafall, Tromo, Victoria Carella and Orcos Samoji. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on this Chanel. It enables me to thrive and survive and also beat some of the copyright demons that sometimes I face here. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the note today that you don't always necessarily know what people are having an internal battle against. So just be kind. Maybe if someone isn't doing their absolute best or what you perceive as their absolute best on a specific day, Give them the benefit of the doubt. Do you know what I mean? I think that's where I'm going to leave it. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes.